Kenya remains a world leading safari destination according to the World Travel Awards. Tourism in Kenya is the second largest source of foreign exchange revenue after agriculture. One of Kenya's most significant attractions is wildlife viewing. These include large cat species such as lions, leopards and cheetahs, as well as elephants, rhinos and giraffes. All of these animals may be seen in their natural habitats during a wildlife safari. Some of the major national parks in Kenya include the Masai Mara National Reserve, the Amboseli National Park, Savo East and Savo West National Parks, and the iconic Nairobi National Park, which is the only park in the world located within a city. Today we are pleased to give you a test, a virtual tour of the Nairobi National Park. Join us. Zambo Zambo, Karibu Sana, Wikimedia 2022. We're right here at Nairobi with members of the Wikimedia Community User Group in Kenya. And we are taking you to the Nairobi National Park, which is the only park in the world located within a city. Are you guys excited? Yes. Yeah, we're excited. Nairobi National Park is home to some of the big five. Please come with us and let's tour the Nairobi National Park. Join us. Yeah, yeah. Tunaenda kujenga inchi Nairobi, Kenya, Nairobi National Park. We are local tourists. We are going to look at the big five. This is the Maasai giraffe. Actually, unaona venye inatembea miguu mbili zinaenda pamoja. Sometimes ladies make comments that they have really really nice eyebrows. Akona <laughs> ball. What's the gestation period? Is it 11 months? Yeah. And they like feeding this, uh, this is a type of uh, acacia called the whistling thorn, which is a favorite for uh, giraffes. The thorn has uh, some fruitish things, which are called gall. 
When the gull is uh, still soft, the ants, there are some ants that make holes on them. When the wind blows, it makes a whistling sound. That's where the name whistling dawn originated. So the giraffes like feeding on them. But then again, this um, uh, shrub uh, has some a certain chemical it produces once in a while that when the giraffe tries to feed on it, it is bitter and keeps away the giraffe. So they try to, the giraffe usually try to go to the windy wind side so that they get the, the smell of the shrub so that they know uh, which one they can feed on. It's like a, a protection mechanism by the tree, not to be fed by the, the giraffe. So where I come from, where, uh, when the fruits are still uh, soft and young, we used to feed on them. Actually, it's succulent and it helps uh, when you are thirsty. Hey, you look familiar. King of the jungle, His Highness. Now, Nazwenga Kupos. So, this is a Maasai ostrich. We have uh, two types of ostrich. We have the Maasai and the uh, Somali ostrich. This is a male ostrich. Usually the males and females have different colors. The male is uh, black and white with pink neck and legs. And the female is gray. The Somali ostrich, the neck and the feet, are, the legs are somehow grayish to bluish. Ostriches um, um, don't have a proper digestive system, just like a chicken. So they have to swallow some stones to help uh, break down the food. As you can see, it's feeding on the shoot of grass and sometimes some insects and stuff like that. It is the second fastest animal after the cheetah. It can run up to 50 kilometers per hour. Usually the brain of the ostrich is smaller than its eye. And the next to the right is uh, the largest antelope called Eland. This is the largest antelope in Africa. They're always very strong. They can jump up to three meters high. These are male impala. They're all male? Yes. Normally yeah, they, they hang out in a bachelor group. Oh. In the boys club. Waiting for their chance to probably mm. dominate of the females. Because uh, there is only one male with the females, mm -hmm. so they will at some point try to challenge the, the dominant male. If they succeed, they take over. If not, the other one continues. So, if all of them uh, attack one male, yeah. who takes over? All of them or no, just so one? No, they don't do that. Mm -hmm. they don't, they, there is only one who feels like he, he wants to challenge. The dominant male can dominate for about three to four months. And this is me, I don't know if you had the There is another stone. Pupils are among the most dangerous um, animals. Mm. It is said that they kill more people than even snakes. Why? Yeah. For people being herbivorous, then why does it attack humans, basically? So they think that uh, they are under threat. So normally when you come in between the hippo and the water where they stay, that's where they become aggressive. We actually have enough uh, watering points for these animals and uh, of late the park management have drilled some boreholes just in case um, there is shortage of water. But uh, we have uh, man-made dams strategically located in the park that takes care of uh, the animals and the water here. But can you see like the climate change aspect has had an effect? 
Definitely it is changing. Generally it is changing because the season, the raining, the rain seasons keep on changing. But uh, the fact that at least this park is protected and it's fenced, we don't have, uh, you know, people's cows coming to, you know, graze here. At least the grass is, is almost sufficient, I would say, compared to, you know, outside there. Right now the grass is sufficient. At yeah. the time that there were stories mm -hmm. that some of the animals had gone into the neighboring like towns, Rongai. Yeah, they do. They do. There are some areas, usually when it rains, when there is a lot of grass here, especially for the herbivores, they tend to move out of the park because, uh, you know, they don't like where they, somewhere where there is long grass. Mm -hmm. So they tend to go, you know, and, you know, there is those open areas, on, I still had to keep Tengela. Mm -hmm. But uh, now that it is dry on the outside, most of the animals have moved back in here. So we have most of the herbivores here. So we are at the historic um, ivory burning site at the Nairobi National Park and Sam will be telling us more about this place. It's a memorial site uh, to, com to commemorate uh, elephants and rhinos that have been killed by poachers because of the ivory and horns. And um, here it, it's just a, a, a chart indicating uh, how the order of ivory burning has happened. It started in 1989 by Daniel Arab Moy. He burned a pile of 12 tons of ivory which was estimated to to be worth a million dollars and then followed again in 2011 by President Kibaki who burned five tons of ivory. In 2015 President K uh, Kenyatta burned 15 tons of ivory and then 2016 again, he burned, uh, along with uh, Ali Bongo of Gabon, he burned one of five tons of ivory and 1.35 tons of rhino horns. One nice thing about uh, getting a game drive at the Nairobi National Park is that you can have a few minutes to sit down and just chill and uh, get to feel good about the environment. There are three uh, places where you can get to chill out and sit. So currently we are at the Impala picnic site where we just want to have a few meals here, uh, get to talk, get to bond, play a few games. After that, we will be going back to the entrance where we will get to have a Maasai dance, which is very popular in, in Kenya. Yeah, so I just want to ask maybe from the team uh, if anyone would share what the, their highlight has been for this day. It has been amazing. The great team, the amazing drivers. What can I say? The weather, the chilly morning, and the beauty of seeing the animals around us. For me, my biggest highlight was, um, you know, seeing or rather coming to the park for the first time in I think over ten years. The last time I was here at the at the Nairobi National Park, um, I think I was still in I was nineteen. Yeah, and now um, still nineteen plus some ten years experience. <laughs> Yeah, I saw my highlight was just, you know, seeing like how vast this park is. Because when you talk about it, you don't realize how big it is. And especially since we are always within the city, skyscrapers all over. But I'm here in the middle, I can't see buildings. I'm like, ah, yeah, okay, interesting. Yeah, and then I also got to see lions. And it's amazing, you know, even how the tour guides can tell like this, this lion is a brother to that one. I found that fascinating. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> and then also how they get to tell if this is a male impala, this is a female one if this other one is pregnant yeah and yes. also maybe something that we we also need to mention about this park it has an historical ivory burning site so this was just to show kenya's commitment in wildlife conservation and also like you know the ban against um 
uh, ivory so that has been great and also if you guys can see we don't have uh, like plastic bottles single-use plastic bottles are not allowed in national parks in in kenya kenya has one of the toughest plastic bands yeah shalom one of our newcomers what has been your highlight of their, their whole experience not just about the national park but also being like a community member uh, my highlight of today is seeing the whole team here together seeing wildlife together spending this sunday morning together and seeing the really I don't say cute but scary lions <laughs> but yeah that has been the highlight of my day it's a nice beginning of the week how do you feel being part of this wiki community in kenya because you're you're our baby you're uh, yeah our last born newcomer how do you feel about this uh, and especially because this is the first social gathering she's always come to editathons before yeah. but this is your first wikimania a social event how do you feel about this i did not expect this and i love it so much and thank you guys for having me and i'm looking forward to more ni utamaduni wetu kukua pamoja kufurahia pamoja na kushiriki kwa pamoja kwa hivyo tunasema just uh, be on the standby you will get to see the Maasai dancers very soon kata ke kitu kule sasa kata ke kitu kule sasa kata ke ki kata ke ki kata ke kitu kule sasa Iyo ni keki ya wiki mania. Iyo ni keki ya wiki mania. Iyo ni keki ya wiki mania. 2022. Iyo ni keki. Iyo ni keki. Iyo ni keki ya wiki mania. Also Carol's birthday month. Aww. Happy birthday. Daddy Akaro may you have many many more Haya mmechagua team leader pigieni team leader wenu makofi mumsaik Huku team leader ni nani Cosmas Haya team leader funga macho na mask Sijui atakaita funga na ufunge macho Cosmas funga macho. Funga macho na bado vai your mask. Ukichit ndajua tu. Haya. Team 1, you will direct your team leader where I'm placing this bottle. Team 2, you direct your team leader. Ama nyinyi ni wiki au ni mania. Wiki? 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 Mania you tell your team leader where this bottle is. Wiki you tell your team leader. Wewe unaangalia Cosmas. This one is for wiki. This one is for mania. Cosmas unachungulia and you'll be discontinued with your education. Ile ni ya wiki. Hii ni amania. Twende, you set them up. Twende. You have three minutes. And then yuko na mtu wenyu naangalie huko. Ah nyi wote mnaangalia huko kwanza. Nitawaambia time ya kutan. Haya, mwenye amefungwa arudi one step behind. Another step behind. Wini step kama ya mtu. Eh, nice. Haya.